My name is Milo Abrahamson. I'm 39 years old and I'm a blackjack dealer at Wild Horse Casino. I believe I contacted COVID um, around June 23rd of this year. I was asymptomatic for, I would say, about 10 days. I went to my cousin's funeral and kind of started really feeling the symptoms of COVID. You kind of let your guard down and you think, you know, I've been through this far and I haven't got COVID and that's the mistake that you make. At first they thought I had pneumonia. I was in the hospital for um, a few hours. They talked to me about a experimental drug called Redemzivir. I spoke with my mom about it and took the drug. At that time, um, everything kind of went blank. I was put into a medically induced coma. I was life flighted to Beaverton to Providence uh, Medical Center. I was intubated and in a coma from Thursday uh, until Tuesday, Tuesday morning. It's kind of when I woke up. I woke up to this tube in my throat and they would suck out the COVID that was in my chest. It hurt. The mental aspect of it is you wake up and you're alone. I was in there basically two weeks. I've lost 30 pounds. I have no strength. Like my lungs are, I can't hardly breathe. I can only walk so far. I have a long road ahead of me. We learned a lot about our family and I think uh, uh, other families, uh, you gotta be able to reach out to each other and help each other during these kind of times. We have always uh, been very close. Uh, we've always been around to help each other through hard times. I traveled down there with him and brought our spiritual belief our wash it songs uh, and prayed and sang with him, even though I couldn't be in the hospital uh, bed where he was at, uh, I was near near him and that made a big difference to him. If they didn't help me, I would be in a worse place right now. My main message to everybody here on the tribe is take this very seriously. It only takes one time and that one time almost cost me my life.